yo, what is going on you search and destroy savages? It's your boy Tupac, back again today. Now, I've got some good news for you guys. I made a funny moments video, like today, and I was hoping to have it up this afternoon, but like I've decided to put a few more hours in editing. Like this video actually takes ages to put together. Like how it is now, like I could have uploaded it, but I know I could do a better job. So I'd rather go back to the drawing board and bring you guys like a hilarious video that I know you guys are going to like and just put that extra effort into it. So as of now, I just got a commentary and the gameplay in the background is me beasting with a weird class. It's a Shiva high caliber stock overkill uh, brecky shotgun. So it's a bit of a different class, job, but I'll make it work. Again. Now that Let's I've dropped the intel and you guys know what to expect in this afternoon's video that I'm going to be throwing up, I also thought I'd talk about the general direction and like videos that are coming up on this channel. Now I got plenty of 20 pluses on my hard drive and plenty of 4.0 haters, but like my favourite sort of video to put up, and in my personal opinion, what is more enjoyable to watch is generally the 4.0s, where you're getting like a higher SPM, which basically means you're getting more kills per minute which is generally faster paced gameplay. Like in the 20 pluses, like I tend to, it tends to be a bit slower, like you're losing rounds, you're getting deaths, but you're ending up going the full length and getting like 20 kills. Where else in a 4-0, you're just pretty much running through the enemy team and it is fast paced action. But let me guys know what you want to see, which is I prefer throwing out the faster paced gameplays over like the 20 pluses and the drawn out games. Now, you can expect to see another episode of What Would Zeus Do as well coming up. And I also got a pretty amazing gameplay against Bakabek, a pro Call of Duty player. I got a hater against him and his party. And like, they're all professional players. If you guys don't know who they are, he's a professional New Zealand gamer and they're doing really well in the Oz New Zealand like CWL league. Which if you guys aren't watching it, you're missing out. But his team is immunity and they're doing damn well in this year's series of CWL League. So these guys are top tier players and I managed to drop a hater on them. So I know you guys will enjoy that gameplay. Now that I've bored you guys enough with the gritty details of what you can expect to see on this channel, which I goddamn better not have bored anyone because my job here is to entertain. So anyway, let's jump into today's topic, which is going to be about Xbox's big announcement, which some of you guys would have heard about, some of you guys might not have yet, but anyway, I'm going to be dropping some intel on that and letting you guys know what to expect, because I know a lot of big YouTubers have made some pretty clickbaity titles, and some people might have like a wrong idea of what's actually going on here, so I thought I'd like to let you guys in on what I do know. Now, Xbox's big announcement this week was about that Rocket League players will now be able to play against PC players, and it's also opened the invitation to other networks to join later, with i.e. PlayStation. Now, what that basically means is nothing like what your typical massive YouTuber has pumped it up to be, like COD 2016, 2017, going to be cross-platform compatible, nothing like that. There's no indication or no official statement from Sony, aka PlayStation, that this is going to be possible or that they're agreeing with it. Because obviously there's no Switch that can just be flipped overnight and that tomorrow you'll be playing Xbox One players on Black Ops 3 from your PlayStation. Nah, nothing like that unfortunately. But it is exciting and a window pretty much has been opened. If Sony were to agree and software was to be created by developers to support cross-platform, like other game titles, example Call of Duty could possibly be paid in the future cross-platform. Like nothing like this has pretty much been seen before. So cross-platform capabilities and Xbox opening the invitation to other developers like Sony and like the bigger gamer titles to support cross-compatibility. Like that's big news and that's a step in the right direction if you want to be seeing cross-compatibility in the future on Call of Duty. But nothing to suggest that this is even happening as of this time. But a window has definitely been open and it's good news to hear because obviously a bigger gaming audience and a bigger player base is only a good thing. Now, getting towards the end of the gameplay, so I really did hope you guys did enjoy. Just remember to smack that like button. It does help the channel grow. Cheers, guys.